The Denver Nuggets have punched back. It looked like things might be over for the Nuggets in the West, with the Timberwolves frustrating the Denver Nuggets with their stifling defense. However, with a convincing 27-point win by the Nuggets last night, making the series 2-1, to one, Minnesota might be looking over their shoulders. ESPN's Om Yomi Suk has the latest. This weekend, a new docu-series debuts on ABC Full Court Press. It gives a behind-the-scenes look at the surging popularity of women's college basketball. Caitlin Clark, an executive producer the on that. The filmmakers, I mean, follow three players, Clark, South Carolina's Camilla Cardoso, and UCLA's Kiki Rice, to tell the story of a season when their sport ascended to new heights. Today on Outside the Lines on SportsCenter, here's Jeremy Shep. Fueled him to a Game 3 win. Hey, Jay Harris, where are you going? I don't want to be on camera. Where are you going? I we got a show to, to do, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> we got a show to do. <laughs> Jay, Harris, how are you? Good, how The Denver Nuggets have punched back. It looked like things might be over for the Nuggets in the West, with the Timberwolves frustrating the Denver Nuggets with their stifling defense. However, with a convincing 27-point win by the Nuggets last night, making the series 2-1, to one, Minnesota might be looking over their shoulders. ESPN's Om Yomi Suk has the latest. NFL reporter Jeremy Fowler is with us right now. And Jeremy, you were down in Atlanta for mini camp. You got a look at Michael Penix Jr. Yeah. Spoke to Raheem Morris, their head coach. Oh, what's the talk about the arrival of Michael Penix Jr. in Atlanta? Yeah, I mean, I caught Penix walking off the practice field. He says he embraces oh, the playoffs. When we didn't, we were out of the playoffs. And so he said, we're not going to apologize for getting Kirk Cousins now and Penix for the future. Well, at least there'll be some bonding and not much animosity between those yeah. two quarterbacks. Plenty of other rookie quarterbacks getting things started at rookie minicamp. Take us through what you're hearing about Caleb Williams, Spencer Rattler, and Drake May starting with Caleb Williams. Though. Yeah, so it's interesting. Caleb Williams it's didn't like necessarily steal at this point. A lot of people looking at Spencer Rattler as a hidden gem in this year's draft. Also, Derek Carr didn't miss any starts in 2023. However, he did deal with two concussions and an injury to his throwing shoulder. So quarterback death, definitely something you want to keep an eye on there in New Orleans. Jeremy Fowler with the latest. Thank thing. You.